Fire, thank you. Can you take your volume down? Take your volume down. Praise the Lord. I'd like to appreciate our parents in the Lord, Reverend Dr. Tunde and Reverend Tina Bolanta, for this privilege to serve us God's word this morning. I want to thank the resident pastor, the senior pastors, and all the pastors in the house, the elders. Thank you for this opportunity. I don't take it lightly at all. I am grateful. So on their behalf this morning, I welcome you all to second service in Jesus' name. Throughout this month, we will be looking at the subject honor. Our pastor took out time during the first service to take us through that subject gracefully. So we'll be going over the same subject this morning and then we'll try to do it at the shortest time possible. Hallelujah. If you attended the first service, we'll be saying the same things as the first service. Just make sure you pick one or two things and the Lord will bless you in Jesus' name. To honor means to show due recognition of the importance or place true value on something or on someone. To honor also means to respect or to hold someone in high regard. To respect or to hold someone in high regard. Honor is actually a thing of the heart, not a function of your lips. It is possible to honor somebody with your lips, but your heart is saying otherwise. So it is important that if you claim that you honor somebody with your lips, let it also come from your heart. Nobody is born with a gift of honor. Honor is a virtue that you decide to cultivate in your character and in your nature. Nobody is born with a gift of honor. You decide to cultivate the habit and the culture of honor. Honor can be responsible for your open doors. When God has opened a door for you, like he has done for us this year in this ministry, one of the things that will keep the door open is honor. 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 Honor for someone. Honor for a place. Just as we have money in the physical as currency to purchase, in the spiritual, another currency is honor. One currency is faith. Faith is a spiritual currency. Also, honor is a spiritual currency. If all you have is money in this life, you are actually poor. There's more to life than money. Yes, money answers all things. But when it comes to spiritual matters, there are spiritual currencies that if you have them, you can transact and attract whatsoever you desire. One of the currencies is faith. Another is honor. So if you have learned, if you cultivate the habit, the culture of showing honor to whom honor is due, you can be sure to attract whatever honor brings. Honor is like a seed. If you sow it, it brings harvest. Most of the closed doors we experience are, are so because we lack honor. We don't show honor. Honor begins with discernment. You have to discern. You have to understand. 
you have to know the true value and worth of the person you are dealing with or of the place where you are in the book of genesis 28 from verse 10 down to 16 it was revealed there about jacob how he was traveling and he got to a place and he was tired and he laid down and he put stones on the ground and used as pillow and he laid down to sleep when he began to sleep his eyes opened and he discovered that there was a ladder from heaven to earth and angels were, were ascending and descending ascending and descending and he understood that there was a traffic spiritual traffic going on there by the time that dream was over and he woke up he said ah so the lord was even here and i did not know it is possible for god to be in the place and you don't know it is possible for god to have placed so much treasure in a man in a woman close to you and you don't know because you lack discernment when you go to the market you see people buying and selling the market how come you don't greet everybody you meet in the market because largely you don't know everybody in the market but if you went to the market to buy something and you just mistakenly saw the chief of your village and you know him very well or the upper of your village you saw him and you know him you saw him in the in the market you will run and prostrate and lie down and begin to greet why others are not greeting him because they don't know him but you because you know him you don't mind to lie down with a white kaftan like myself and begin to greet you double why because you've discerned that this man is a man of honor so honor begins with discernment you have to know who you are dealing with you have to know who is around you you have to know the value of the place where you are. One day Christ met his disciples and he said, Who do men say I am? Who do men say I am? And some said you are, they say you are Elijah. Some said you are Moses. Some they say you are this, some say you are that. And he said, you, who do you say I am? He was waiting to see whether the men who were around him had a revelation of who he truly was. And they were all silent. And from nowhere, one young man called Peter said, Thou art Christ, the Son of the living God. Wow! Christ was shocked that this one knows who I am. And said, Flesh and blood has not revealed it, has not revealed it to you, but my Father who is in heaven has revealed it to you. So honor begins with discernment. I pray that the Lord will grant us discernment in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray that the Lord will grant us discernment in the name of Jesus Christ. Don't just be around people and don't know who they are and don't place value on them. We have come to say over and over again that your sense of value determines your flow of virtue. That woman said in her heart, if I can just but touch the hem of his garment, I shall be made whole that day there were many people around jesus christ now there were so many of them and i know that many of them were sick they were plagued with diseases with infirmity but they were all around him rubbing him pushing him trying to hold him trying to just get his attention but one woman with a sense of value told herself i don't even need to talk to him i don't even need him to pray for me if only i can just touch the hem of his garment i shall be made whole and the moment she touched the hem of his garment, virtue flowed. It is your sense of value that determines the flow of virtue. What you don't value, you will never attract. So don't be in the place that you don't value. Don't be, in the, don't be around people you don't respect. You don't know who they are because they will never bless you. Hallelujah. Dr. Mike Mudok said, stay where you are celebrated, not where you are tolerated. Find a place where they know your value and you are celebrated. 
if you spend your life around where you are only tolerated the best will never come out of you find a place where you are celebrated because celebration brings out the virtue the grace that you carry on your life so stay around those that know your value stay around those that celebrate you not those that look down on you talk down on you despise you talk about you anyhow don't stay around them no if you discover that move from them and if by virtue of your job you find out that that is how they all are and you cannot just move work on yourself to be sure that what they say about you does not affect you cover your heart guide your heart don't place the value of your life on people's commendations don't say eh, because they don't like me i'm nobody whether they like you or not you are somebody because christ paid for you by his blood so you are worth the blood of jesus christ it does not matter who likes you it does not matter who hates you it does not matter who wants to despise you because you are bought by the blood of jesus you are worth the blood of jesus christ don't let anyone look down on you you are important you are so important that the angels had to ask who is man that thou art so mindful of or the son of man that thou visited him you are that important so don't let people's opinion about you bring you down it is not surprising to find your pla- yourself in the place where people don't like you it's okay if you can move move but if you can't move fortify your heart by your walk with the lord and tell yourself i am what i am by the grace of god it does not matter who likes me i am the apple of god's eye i am the righteousness of god in christ jesus i am the head and not the tail i'm above i'm not beneath i'm the light of the world i am the salt of the earth so when you know who you are what they say about you is irrelevant irrelevant so discernment is key may our doors remain open through honor in the name of jesus christ we heard in the first service that there are several people that god through his word have commanded that we honor them the bible admonishes us to honor certain people the first person to honor is god First Samuel 2, verse 30. Let's go there. First Samuel 2, verse 30. Wherefore the first Samuel 2, verse 30. Wherefore the Lord God of Israel said, I said indeed that thy house and the house of thy father should walk before me forever. But now the Lord said, Be it far from me. For them that honor me, I will honor, and they that despise me shall be lightly esteemed. When you sit down and you think about who God is, when you think about the fact that God was never created, when you think about the fact and the truth and the reality that God is the beginning and the end, before him there was none ever and after them there will be none like him in fact there is none beside him when you think about him be the bright and the morning star when you think about him be the alpha and the omega the first and the last when you think about 